Hey there fellow YouTubers and metalheads. Just wanted to do a real quick video here on why I think metals are going up just over the last week or two. I've seen a lot of videos and speculation and everybody's opinions and theories. So I'm going to make a video with mine. For those of you that don't know, yesterday, February 7th, was Chinese New Year. Okay? A lot of Asian markets and a lot of Asian people, billions of them in fact, buy a lot of gold and silver during this month, the weeks leading up to this month, and especially this week. Okay? With Chinese New Year being yesterday, all of the metals are seeing spikes as a result of heavy, heavy buying in Asia. I'm predicting that next month in March, just a couple weeks out, we're going to see it drop right back down to reality again. Right to where we're all used to it being. Don't get me wrong, I'm with you. I want to see it go up too, but I just don't see it going up yet. Every single year during the Chinese New Year, this always happens, and everybody gets excited. And then a couple weeks later, they go right back down again. So, I guess it'll be interesting to see if I'm right or wrong. But another reason why I think that is also, a lot of you have probably noticed that the Kilo Perth Mint Lunar Coins are now flooding the market. The Perth Mint has uh, begun resuming production of many of the years. They are not an unlimited mintage coin. Uh, thus, they are pumping them out faster than ever again. So I'm sorry for those of you that bought Kilos when they first came out thinking they were going to be a gold mine. Looks like that will be a complete flop. Uh, you can check the numbers and, and do your own research. You can check out Silver Slacker's video. He's got more information on it than I do. But uh, it's very ironic timing. I believe that they pump out all of these Kilo Lunar Coins and then they have sales on them right during the exact week of uh, Chinese New Year. I mean, that is that has got to be timed to perfection between the mintage, the mints in Perth, the uh, the distributors, and, and, and the bullion dealers who buy the coins. This, to me, feels like something that they had planned out a long, long time ago. It's far too ironic to have all of this stuff happening at the exact same time. Uh, that's just my theory. So uh, comment below. Be interesting to see what you guys think. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.